you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. I am behind the camera today to do a new plan with me video and I am pretty over the top about this one. I am featuring the shop Pretty Sheepy today. Now, if you have never seen this shop, you need to check it out, especially if you are a Disney fanatic like I am. They have the cutest Disney stickers I have seen. And thank you to whoever recommended this shop to me on Facebook or Instagram. I can't remember which one it was. But I immediately went and checked them out. And I was blown away. So after looking, I contacted Pretty Sheepy. And they offered to send me some stickers to share with you guys today. And I decided to go with Inside Out. If you have not seen Inside Out, it is the cutest Disney movie I've seen in a very long time. Enough with my rambling, let me share the stickers that they sent me. They sent me two sets of these stickers right here. They sent me this set of stickers. These stickers. And two sets of the Mickey Head bullet lists. And as a little freebie that they throw in. And here's Bella. <laughs> Excuse Bella. She hasn't been in the last couple of videos, so I guess she just wanted to pop in and say hello to you guys. And they sent this adorable little freebie set that they send with all of their orders. Before we get into any of the planner decorating, I just wanted to talk about these pretty sheepy stickers real fast. Let me tell you, these are high quality stickers. And they are glossy paper. They are not matte. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. But they are very shiny. They are very bright in color. And... I'm going to tell you, I was so impressed, I am now going to put them on one of my favorite sticker shops. So if you're looking for new stickers, especially Disney stickers, make sure that you check out Pretty Sheepy. Usually the first thing that I do when I start decorating a planner spread is I divide out my sections with washi tape. But on this one, I don't think I'm going to do that first because I have these adorable little um, decorative boxes to put. And I have these to put in some of these squares. And I'm afraid if I apply the washi tape first and then put down these stickers, it will be way too much going on and it will be distracting and not look good. So what I think I'm going to do is do all of my stickers and filling in what I need to fill in and then apply the washi tape if I think it's going to look good at the end. So the first thing that I'm going to do in this planner spread is to complete the middle section, which is what I call my to-do lists. And to help me with that, I am going to use these Mickey Head Bullet List stickers. Now I have all of my Mickey heads applied to my layout. And these are so cute. I think that section looks really good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to cover up this thankful thoughts section. And I think I'm going to use this little green box here. Now 
The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the two videos that I will be doing this week. And to do that, I'm going to use my Statler pens. And when I do this, I'm going to make sure that I put it kind of halfway down on each one of the boxes. That is something I've learned in the last couple of weeks because I was pre-filling out some of my layouts and then I would apply washi tape or some kind of stickers and then it would cover up all of my words and I would have to use my whiteout runner and then rewrite everything. So I'm going to kind of write it in the center just in case I want to decorate using washi tape on top of it. Now I have my videos and blog posts listed for this week. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to put one of these decorative boxes on the little square on the 8th, that Tuesday. And let's see, I think I am going to go with this one right here that has all of the characters. Okay, now the next thing that I am going to do is I think I might line this bottom section down here with washi tape just to add a little bit of something extra down there. I think we're needing a little bit of something. And I'm liking this purple washi tape, so I think I'm going to line this down here in the purple washi tape. Now that is done, and I think that looks pretty cute. And I left a little bit of the green down here still sticking out just to add a little bit of, just a little bit of character so it wouldn't just purple washi tape. Now what I'm going to try to do is I am going to try to balance out this washi tape down here. So I'm going to apply some of the five remaining washi tape colors up here, and I'm going to make them look kind of like a flag going to the right. got my little ribbon banners done at the top and then I also went ahead and lined the bottom with the green and white stripe. So now when I look at this layout I feel like it looks balanced. The bottom has washi tape and the top has some washi tape. So now we are ready to decorate with stickers and I think what I'm going to do is I think over here on the side I'm going to put the stickers of each one of the inside out characters and then I'm just going to kind of mix them up all around to make it look really cute and festive.
completely finished decorating this planner spread and I think it turned out super, super cute. I am very excited with the outcome. So let me just pull it up and let you look overall and then I'll kind of explain a little bit. So my main thing when I do planner spreads is I want my layout to be balanced. And when I look at this, it looks balanced. I think everything looks cute. The colors are not all one color on one little area. It's kind of broken up. It looks really nice, I think. At the bottom left, I wanted to make sure to put the little inside out logo. And I wanted it to stand out. So I took one of the little decorative backgrounds and I added the sticker on top of it. So I think that turned out really cute. Now, down here, the little box is here. I have these put in these places because we actually have family events that are going to happen on these days. So I thought the boxes kind of broke them up and made them stand out. So after this video, I will fill those little boxes out. Now at the top here, I wanted to put a picture of each character of Inside Out. So they fit nicely. I was kind of scared they wouldn't fit. And then I put the little logo on top of the little flag there. I think the little purple flag makes the logo stand out. And to line the little purple washi down here, I put one of each one of the characters there as well. And then I put this at the top. And I covered this up with one of these little bunting stickers. So I think this turned out so cute. I'm very excited with how it looks. I hope you like it too. Please leave me in the comments below what you think of my inside out layout. I would love to hear what you think about it or if you think I should have changed up some things or something I could have done differently. If you like the plan with me type of videos, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. And don't forget to check out Pretty Sheepy. I have left the link below to that website. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye!